Hello and welcome to the Ozone, uh, where today we're just going to do a quick video on uh, Step Closer. Let me do this. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so, as you can see, I've pre ordered it. It comes out July the 7th, which is for me two days away. Um, apparently, in other places, uh, they got the book quicker. Uh, and I, I've seen that there's there's somebody who's basically copied the entire book and put it out online. Um, I've stayed away from the leaks, um, but I'm going to try and and read it all, hopefully in the first two or three days, because that's when I have a big space of time uh, to do that. And of course, I'm going to do audiobooks in it as well. So if you want audiobooks for Step Closer, then you've come to the right place. Um, but for now, we're just going to literally go through what my predictions are for this book uh, and what I expect and all of the stories, uh, what they what they might turn out to be like. So let's begin with uh, with just literally reading the description. So isolation can open up a void. Pete lashes out at his younger brother in the wake of his parents divorce, falling prey to a gruesome curse. Casey struggles with the lengths he'll go to survive on the streets after stealing a pair of unusual novelty glasses. Samantha and her sister Susie struggle to exist side by side, desperate to connect after a horrific tragedy. But in the grim world of Five Nights at Freddy's, empty feelings often attract hungry monsters. Okay, so that's that sounds really good. I just love that preview right there. Um what I will say pointing out about this is there's always the starting line, right? Isolation can all can open up a void. Sounds a bit like uh like coronavirus over here, Mr. Coronavirus. No, I'm joking. Um it's got nothing to do with coronavirus. Uh, isolation is literally just a word meaning you feel alone, you know, you you're just in your own world. There's no one around you. Uh and so when you're op when you're isolated, um Things can happen. Strange things can happen. You, you might be, be a bit haunted, say. Uh, that's why maybe isolated pizzerias um, are, are haunted. Anyway, um, before we kind of get into what all of this probably means, um, let's have a look at the title and the, the the main cover. It's called Step Closer. There's not really much to go off of there. Um, Basically, this first story about Pete will be about Step Closer, but it doesn't really connect to the title, so don't know how Step Closer the title is going to come into it. But we're going to see. Uh, and, I mean, this this looks epic. This is very nice. It's just art of uh, FNAF 1 Foxy, I believe. Um, hang on, does he have... I'm assuming that is his eye without the eye patch or is the eye patch sorry or is the eye patch on the other eye maybe I'm just remembering incorrectly but there's like this black bar here maybe I don't know maybe it's just him without his eye patch um, but it's foxy you can see the hook uh, it's very cool concept art uh, very very cool and I'm very excited for this book um, okay <clears throat> sorry so Let's just get into this. So Pete lashes out at his younger brother in the wake of his parents' divorce, falling prey to a gruesome curse. The thing I will say about this is, um, the first thing is we we have Pete and a younger brother. I mean that already draws parallels to the two brothers in FNAF 4. The only thing is we've had a story in the past that is about that and that technically clarified that a little bit more maybe we will get more information on the Afton family because we've never heard of Afton's partner we haven't heard of Mrs Afton um, so maybe they did get divorced and that's what I think happened uh, I can't imagine you know them sticking together and we would never see them but maybe this tells the story of who the Aftons truly are. Maybe it will reveal the identity of Michael Afton, although probably not. <laughs> um, gruesome curse, what could that be? Um, not sure really. 
it, I, it's just really a, a, a curse. I don't know what it's got to do with Foxy. So, I don't know, maybe it's like Fetch where um, Foxy is like hunting them. Like, I don't know, because the thing about the first story in each book is uh, is, pe is people are drawn to the pizzerias or drawn to the animatronics. So maybe they're drawn to this Foxy and then a curse falls on them and then they're, they're attacked by Foxy. I don't, I don't know and I don't know what this can open out to the story but it's very cool, sounds great. Uh, next one, Casey struggles with the length she'll go to survive on the streets after stealing a pair of unusual novelty glasses. Not much to go off of here. There's only a sentence. Um, well, all of these are only a sentence. But I will say one thing about this, and one thing only, that I've literally just thought of in my head right now. The lengths she'll go to survive on the streets. So my head goes to where have we seen the streets in FNAF before? Well, FNAF 6, you know, where, where they're in the alleyways. Um, the animatronics are in the alleyway, alleyways, and they're just um, they're, they're just scraps at that point. So maybe it's kind of a parallel there. How Casey is now basically a scrap, just thrown on the streets, being salvaged. Um, but then this weird detail is added after stealing a pair of unusual novelty glasses. I have a feeling it's a little bit like the way Scrap Baby worked. So Scrap Baby. Um, Baby was basically ejected from Ennard, uh, and then Baby had to, like, repair herself. She was only, like, this one piece of metal or something, and then she had to repair herself. Uh, and then she became Scrap Baby, made of li little scraps. She had little roller skates on and stuff. Maybe it will tell us a little bit more about FNAF 6, the way the, the salvaging works. <clears throat> Maybe Casey is a parallel to Scrap Baby, though I don't know. Uh, again, novelty glasses, we haven't really seen that anywhere. Um, and there's no mentioning of any animatronics here or pizzerias, so I'm interested to see where this one goes. Um, that's the other thing. Second story is always about um, a person transforming into an animatronic or pieces of metal or getting hypnotized, you know. Final story, probably the most interesting one out of all of them. Samantha and her sister Susie. Susie, that should be ringing a lot of bells for you. That is one of the missing children in the missing children's incident. Uh, one of the names on the gravestone. Uh, we believe Susie to be Chica, and we believe Susie to be the one in the Fruity Maze minigame, um, whose dog died or something, and then she's dealing with her traumas while playing this game, uh, and then she's lured to the back room to get killed by Afton. So, maybe... This story is going to open up a lot more information about who Susie truly is. Maybe a little bit about her dog, but I'm not too sure. But also, there's a horrific tragedy. What could that be? Could it be referencing the bite a little bit? Possibly. Um, or it could be the dog. I just thought. Uh, I just thought that. Maybe the two sisters are Samantha and Susie. That the dog died somehow, maybe Samantha drove, ran it over, or something, <laughs> and then they get into an argument or something, the ho horrific tragedy, and they're desperate to connect to each other. But I don't really know. Again, these sentences really draw you in, but they don't tell you enough. So I'm really excited to read, especially that one. Um, but there you go. In the in the Grim World, we also have this sentence at the end of every one of these previews and it's different. In the grim world of Five Nights at Freddy's, empty feelings often attract hungry monsters. So the theme, the running theme through this book is the fact that everyone has empty feelings. Okay? Everyone's isolated, everyone's dumped on the streets, or they've got no one to be with, or they're just alone. You know? And, and that, these empty feelings attract hungry monsters. One of them being Foxy. <laughs> the other two I don't know because there is nothing here that says anything about the animatronics or pizzeria. So we're going to see where this goes and I'm really excited. Um, stick around in two days. I will have at least my first uh, episode of the audiobook out. 
Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, uh, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.